people who run Tesco's must be Buddhists. You go in there and things are exactly as they should be. There is nothing that you could possibly want. Bits of telepathic animals neatly shrouded in heat-raised polystyrene with magic marker gravestones. Dyed tomato mulch slobbering to itself in lead-lined tubular coffins zilched by monosodium glutamate. Six chickens periods mercilessly poulticed out of featherless cripples, 34p. A red cabbage that has the blanched air of the severed head of the Baptist, 17p. Albino bread lies on formica slabs in a cold sweat and in grease-proof fluorescent winding sheets like slices of lard sprayed with phenol, 30p. Tesco champagne has the bouquet of a battery pig's fart. Tesco's chickens are injected with hormones at the abattoir in order to give their death that distinctively sweet and sickly taste. Cauterized lumps of plaster of Paris are meretriciously disguised as potatoes with the aid of apposically placed scraps of earth from some Covent Garden beauty parlor. There are fun packs of chemical booze that would impoverish the biological warfare center at Porton Downs in one lip lacerating sip. The distancing effect of plastic and neon has already been sufficiently documented, but never before has it been exploited with such pious and evangelizing devotion. Security Corps floor walkers pace up and down the linoleum aisles in case you should get transported by any of the salutary inventions on display and need religious guidance. The clerks at the point of sale terminals are trained for three weeks to receive any prospective purchaser with blood curdling disgust. Tesco's have temples everywhere assiduously teaching the assassination of desire. Their motives are admirable and quite unpretentious. The Lamas of Tesco's wish to colonize all possible permutations of the lust to consume in order to destroy it. And to radiate their communicants with a particular kind of guilty self-loathing formerly peculiar to Catholicism. But their fanaticism is, of course, unpopular. The Tesco movement understandably complain that they are vatted and vetted and even at times persecuted. Almost all their indulgences have to be sold by a certain date. They are kept under constant surveillance by uncomprehending inquisitors from the Ministry of Health as if they were a dangerous and extremist group. They are prevented by law from conducting their scouringly illuminated and transcendent services on the same day as the established church. The people who run Tesco's must be Buddhists. You go in there and things are exactly as they should be. There is nothing that you could possibly want.